And as long as we've got a cart, we might try out uh, the subway system. Sub we might try out the subway system. Hello, fans. How are you today in the wonderful internet land? Hello there, folks. This is your Uncle Troy. Today we are playing some Minecraft. And I decided it was today. Today was the day to trade in my iron leggings. I've got a uh, pair of iron leggings protection two that are about wore out, and a pair of iron leggings fire protection one that are about wore out. And if we combine these, we get a pair of plain old iron leggings that are about halfway wore out. And I'm actually going to try to enchant these. I have 21 levels. And I just want to see what I get. Well, there's 20. Alright, so I got some protection too. Didn't really trade up at all. But I was curious to see if uh, I would get a better enchant if I used a partly depleted uh, item. And also maybe if I... Uh, if enchanting it would give us, give us some more use out of it. And apparently it will not. So, that was the experiment for today. And let's see here. I was going to put aside some of these here arrows for a future day. Alright, today I want to figure out exactly what this here sky bridge is doing in my lovely sky. Okay, it's a minecart track of some type, which is apparently not finished. Hmm, I wonder where this goes. Let's see, where is there's my little house. Looks like that goes quite a bit quite a ways, and I do not have a minecart on me, or I might could uh travel it pretty fast. Let's see, is this gonna hurt? No. Let's see if I have a spare minecart just to laying around. No, I do not. However, I do think I have enough uh extra iron to make any number of mine carts. There's me a spare mine cart. Stupid Enderman. Leaving holes everywhere. There we go. Alright, since it's not set up down here yet, we'll have to get up here to a an active one. Give it a little shove, jump on it, and hopefully have enough momentum to make the next one. Yay. Looks like it's working so far. World is loading a little slow today. I think my internet connection is having some problems. And I believe I have enough uh, armor that I need not worry about this dropping me off the end of the world or something. Alright, fair piece of ocean there. Now we're into a desert. No structures. Well, it looks like somebody's been lighting. Oh, hello. I've seen this before. This is the Great Pyramid of Giza. Get my minecart back here. Yes, I saw this the other day. Uh, naturally, after I finished recording, that was when the uh, real adventure started. But I think somewhere over here is an entrance on one side or the other of this pyramid. Whoops. Don't fall in the hole. And I hope I find the entrance soon because we are about to run out of daylight. And naturally the last side we try is the side with the hmm, creeper hole I think. Last side we try is the side with the pyramid entrance. So, here we have a wonderful, wonderful little uh, base. And I'm going to uh, borrow your bed for just a minute. Yes, I know there's darkness nearby. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about as many mobs sneaking up on us. So let's see, we have some wonderful water fountains. Probably shouldn't be playing in the water fountains, but hey, I like water fountains. Over here looks like a uh, 
kind of smelting area. Over here we have a uh, not enchanting area, brewing station. Over here would be the enchanting area. I don't have anything to enchant. And here's a switch. Let's see what this switch does. Oh, the switch greatly reduces the number of uh, bookshelves, which will uh, make it easier to enchant at lower levels. Me, I just spam torches in here. Having a torch uh, makes the uh, enchanting go to a lower level because it blocks access to the books. All right, and over here we have <laughs> random crap. All right, stone, wood, yes. I believe this uh, pyramid was done by uh, Daniel. Reed farm, melons of some sort, either watermelon or pumpkin, and a wheat farm. All self-contained in this pyramid. And, of course, in the center you have the beds. And for no reason whatsoever, I'm going to go up and check out the top of the pyramid. Okay, that was the rail we took from spawn. There is a water fountain of some type. Naturally, I must play in it. Looks like we have water flowing over glass. And you really need to uh, view this in high definition to see how pretty it is. And hey, while you're clicking around to uh, switch to the high definition version of this video, why don't you hit the like button to tell me you like my videos. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Oh, come on, can I put myself right in the center here? Apparently I cannot. Oh, and looking down, <laughs> can you see this? Can you see what we got here? We have, looks like this all the way down to bedrock and some nice pattern down there. I wonder if there's a way to get in. I think there might be. This looks like a way to get in here. Yes, yeah, so you can get in the inside. Where we have chests full of ender pearls. Holding shift, holding shift. All right, it looks like you use ender pearls to get down. But I don't know how to get back up. I'm afraid if I get down there, I won't be able to get back up. There's a chest down there. Hmm. We might wait and explore that at a future date. Whoops, why am I having trouble sprinting today? I think these are creeper holes somebody's been filling in. Alrighty, lovely little uh, wood cabin. Different types of wood, can y'all see that? Nice subtle arrangement of the different uh, types of wood. And a boat dock of some type. Looks like this was has been cleaned out since the last time I was over here. Probably everything moved over into the pyramid. And one of my delay circuits for the uh, for the door here. Oops, we have us a hole. Looks like this leads to a mine or something. Yep, we are down to bedrock. Because it is dark and mysterious and scary. And that doesn't go any further. Huh. Guess this is just where he found stuff and quit. Hope he doesn't mind me putting a few extra torches. I don't want to be attacked the next time I come down here and visit. I was about to eat because I was just down half a uh, hunger bar there. But um, Etho posted a video recently. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description 
that explains the whole hunger bar thing. And it's not exactly the way I thought it was. See, what I thought was if you ate, you know, something that would have filled you up more than your hunger bar, that the uh, excess rolled over into uh, a secondary hunger bar, because I'm sure I read that somewhere. But it actually turns out that the excess gets lost, and that there's a separate uh, extra food saturation bar or something like that that is filled by the food regardless of the level of your hunger bar. So there's no reason to... Uh, to eat until you're down at least a couple of uh, chicken legs or whatever those are supposed to be. Okay, I do not want to uh, don't want to throw down my uh, cart there because it'll mess up his automatic launching system. So now it's safe to eat. Perfectly top off the old hunger bar, push the cart, jump in the cart, and back to base we go. And as long as we've got a cart, we might try out. Uh, the subway system sub blah, blah, blah. we might try out the subway system I'm told we have one over at the uh, near the main spawn and actually I've walked by the sign several times I've just never checked it out and I need to come over to this desert and like just strip off the top layer of soil or not soil uh, sand because that's how I do things. I don't like dig a pit straight down or dig down to the bottom and throw a torch under a pile of sand. Uh, I just kind of scoop it off the top so it still looks natural when I'm finished. Alright, there's my swamp house again. Alright, over this way somewhere is the main spawn. Whoa! Almost fell in a little hole there. Having trouble sprinting today for some reason. Looks like somebody's been busy with the leaves and the uh, fences to make this place fairly uh, what you call impenetrable. Hmm. Looks like all the chickens have gone away. I've heard that uh, chickens tend to lag out the server and I've heard it's not the chickens themselves it's the splashing noise in the water so if you like had a bunch of chickens here with like some pistons to block off this drop and some other pistons to block this water and just let the chickens lay the eggs then in theory you could you know flip a switch open up this and allow the water to wash all the uh, chicken eggs out and you could have a chicken farm without lag and looks like we're still underground over there I didn't know what that was the first time I saw it, but I believe there's some sort of a uh, mob grinder system, and it's taking the mobs up, pushing them over, and then dropping them down. Oh, look over there. I see a bear sheep, and I'll bet he uh, can't get to that grass next to him, or doesn't realize it's there, and that's why he's still bear. I'm going to hop over there and find out. So getting dark. Where's the sun? Oh darn, the sun's going down. Alrighty, the bane of uh, YouTube videos is it getting dark. Sprint over here and find us a bed somewhere. And here is still my original mini base I made back when our very first wheat farm was just right through here. Here's that subway station. I've been meaning to check out. Oops. Somebody left this uh, door open. We have a bed in there. No, we don't. Bed in there. No, we don't. Come on, where's me? A bed. I need a bed before it gets dark. No bed, no bed, no bed. Giant Reed Farm doesn't know why any. Yeah! Run, 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 run. Maybe there's a bed over here in the Grand Hall. Built by Stephen in one day. 
anybody leave a bed around here? Nope, nope. Okay. Alright, there's a... It's hard to see through the leaves, but... I think we got multiple creepers, multiple... Zombies. So let's check out this here. Uh, rather than go check out the sheep, we will go check out this subway here. Lime's house, Halo's house, not complete, not complete. Alrighty, let's see. I guess if we're... I don't know if it's up or down that turns it on. But uh, we will try it with that switch up and that switch down. And that's way too many. Oops. That's way too many powered rails. This needs to be three wide, I think, because otherwise you might glitch out in the corners. Well, technically it only needs to be three wide when it turns a corner. But I like having mine three wide all the time because I feel kind of cla claustrophobic in here. You can tell I didn't dig this out because there's still gravel, there's still uh, coal. Hello. Alrighty, let's see. Doop -de doo doo. Ooh, somebody's doing something up there. Have to check that out in a minute. 